Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zahn Ta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase how to use Autodesk Navisworks Manage to create saved viewpoints. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zahn Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. I have a Revit file open within the Navisworks software, which I can save as an NWC file if I need to. And today's topic is on how to create a saved viewpoint. If you go over to the ribbon, there is a viewpoints tab. If you click inside here, you can take a look at the save viewpoints command and the little arrow that allows you to toggle the visibility of the viewpoints panel that's showing up right here. I have it pinned down so you can physically see it and it stays up. If I unpin it, it disappears and kind of drops into a little position here. You can click it and pin it again and it'll hold for you. <clears throat> a viewpoint basically that you're saving is nothing more than a snapshot of an image. And so for example, I can scroll and maneuver the view of the model however I want. And let's just say this is a view that I'd like to save. Heading over here under the Save Viewpoints, I can either right click and create a new folder to start organizing those views and call it whatever I want, say External Views, and then right click and say Save a Viewpoint. And when I save that viewpoint, the default name is called View, and we'll just call it uh, Side Parking Area. Now, <clears throat> now that you've done this and you hit Enter, it creates that viewpoint. It's in the top level hierarchy um, structure tree. If you need to put it inside that external views folder, you can just left click, drag and drop it into that folder. Or you can right click it and you can go ahead and uh, do a whole bunch of different things to it if you need to. Okay. <clears throat> and so you can go through the process of setting up different views that you want, say like this. And then again, right clicking and saving the viewpoint and calling it, you know, entry view. And then again, dragging and dropping it. Another method, if you need to, if you want to try, is again, set the view the way you want. And go over here under the ribbon, uh, under the viewpoints tab, save, load, and playback panel. Click save viewpoint and you can click save. And it's not, it does a save as well, and it just calls it view again, and you can call it whatever you want. And again, you can right click it, and if you need to, we can um, save it, put it to a new folder, copy, edit, transform, so on and so forth. For moving it, just um, click the icon, not the text, and drag it over the folder. So this is how you create viewpoints in Autodesk Navis Works Manage 2017. Now, let's say hypothetically, <clears throat> you need to do a quick animation of it, uh, of um, your model. You can go ahead and create separate little snapshots, kind of like sequencing um, from standing at this point, to this point, to this point, to this point, to this point, and save them as external views and then group them to make an animation. So we'll do that real quick as a last tidbit in this video. We'll do a separate video, screencast video, on how to create animation in a second. So I'll start the first view that I like here, and I'll create a new folder, and I'll call it Animations. And I'll right-click, and I'll save that viewpoint and call it, you know, View 1. Done. I go back over here to the environment, move my mouse a little bit, right-click, save the view again, <clears throat> call it View 2. Rotate a little bit, save it again, view 3. <laughs> now, obviously I'm doing this in small stages, but you can actually do a lot more than that. It will extrapolate the snapshots, if you will, <clears throat> and help you create the animation. Um, so let's do this and call it view 4. So now that I've done this, I can go ahead and select each one and hold the control key down to select all of them. Right click 
and I can either add a copy, edit, update, transform, so on and so forth. If I need to create an animation of it, I'm going to right click and say add animation. Now that I've started that animation title, I can give it whatever name I want. Just say, I don't know, NM1, whatever. Um, hit enter and it's created. You can take the views that you created earlier and right click and see if it allows you to move it to that particular animation. If not, you can left click and control um, and put it under the animation. So you'll have to do this for each one or you can use the control key to highlight a whole bunch at one time <clears throat> and place it. Um, once that's finished, you can go to the animation and take a look at how it's played. So here under animation, under the viewpoints tab of the ribbon, we have animation. <coughs> I'll click play and it'll rotate the view for you and play it in that sequence of the viewpoints that we created earlier. Now when I threw them in, um, I threw them in one at a time and in the sequence that it thrown it in, four down to one, that's the rotation that it took. Um, you can drag it each view if you need to and move them to the position that you want. Now if you hit the play on the animation, it'll play in the direction that you want. And that's it. That's how you create sets in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017 and a quick uh, tidbit on how to create an animation. Thank you very much for watching.